fellow explorers. We are Martin, Sharon and Taylor, better known as Sailing Trinity, an Irish Aussie family who dared to escape the ordinary. We abandoned jobs, university and the mundane, selling everything we owned to chase a life of freedom aboard Trinity at Janori Sun Odyssey 50DS. Welcome to the semi-finale of our five-part cleaning, organization and fixing series where you'll witness the finalization of our winter chapter. Before we jump into our epic season 2 Greek Odyssey around the islands in 80 days. Now, we have been living aboard Trinity for a year now. Crazy, right? And in that time, we have become increasingly familiar with what we need and where we need it. Over winter, we kept Bezos in business and are now in possession of many a storage optimizing apparatus. Now that Trinity's clean, it's time to up her game and her practicality. Join us this episode as we attempt to do just that. Don't miss a chance to support us by liking and subscribing. Your encouragement keeps the channel and crew going strong. And feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. We cherish connecting with you all. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. down in the tail locker at the moment um, again been tidying it up we've been going to clean get all the all the black mold out of it now i just want to take advantage of the walls in here there's a lot of wall space i thought it'd be great for hanging up lines and organizing bits and bobs so i got some wood cut to size i'm just going to glue it to the to the inside of the hole and that will give me um, some structure to you know hang some hooks and put a few small cleats so yeah that should be good i'll just get on with it with regards to the wood you know, I just got some decking boards. They're fairly well treated and uh, they'll be fine, really. They're the perfect size, the perfect width, and just enough thickness to get a few screws in to, to hang things up. And I'm just going to glue them to the walls of the locker with this uh, product called Polymax, which was recommended to me. Up in the shoulders, it's a hard setting white adhesive as opposed to Super Flex. So there's no flex in this one. I'll get to it. making modifications in the sail locker as I explained. Some of the wood that I've had cut, a couple of centimeters sort of too long, I just need to trim it off a little bit before I stick it up. So I borrowed this dainty little saw which is awesome. Awesome day, thanks. <laughs> So awkward. So laying down the hole. <coughs> what was that? I said I'm now the ship's carpenter and the captain. Oh well, there you go. Jack of all trades, master of none. <gasps> a little bit more. Well just a couple of centimeters out. <coughs> oh. Yeah. Let's not put a hole in the boat. Sail lockers, traditionally reserved for sails and rigging gear on vessels, have evolved to accommodate diverse functionalities. Some boats repurpose these compartments as extra cabins or even storage areas. In modern practice, many sail lockers often serve as convenient storage spaces for semi-frequent use items like extra lines, anchors and cleaning products. This adaptation optimizes onboard storage capacity and accessibility, enhancing efficiency during voyages. Interestingly, a study by Boat US found that efficient storage solutions, including purposeful utilization of sail lockers, can increase a boat's resale value by up to 10%, thus maximizing space, adding monetary value, and increasing the potentiality of additional accommodation options for crew or guests. So I finished putting up the battens for the in the sail locker for the hooks. I'll install the hooks after maybe 24 hours when the glue is cured. Here's a quick look at it anyway. Three different places from the top, the midsection, and the bottom section. I've got some over here as well. 
So that's going to allow me to attach some nice hooks and whatever else and get some good storage happening down there. Hello, you back down in the hole again? Yeah. What are you getting done at the moment? Just sorting out some fenders on the ground. To act as a bit of cushioning? Yep. I've got a couple right. of heavy anchors down here. Yeah. Water can. Water can what? <laughs> Um, what are you doing right now? You're cleaning up all the lines, huh? Well, I've washed all the lines. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hang them. I've tied them to say a locker as best I could. Secured the anchors down on the floor underneath some fenders. I have now put our, our big cooler box down there. We have all our chemicals down there for now. It's like a chest. <laughs> a and, chemical chest. And we spanned. I had a, a stick, an old piece of wood, the scrap that I got the other day. And I spanned that across the two, two of the battens. And we now like have a rail. Yeah. And I'm just gonna hang all of the lines from the rail. Brilliant. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, well, it's only temporary because we have a lot of hooks and accessories, but they're not here yet. So until then, I don't wanna overdo it. Okay, cool. So we softened up all the ropes with a little bit of Lenore. They smell lovely. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna put them away into the sail locker. There's somebody leaving now. That'll be us. Secret breeze. Ciao. Anyone need a tripod? We only have 13. <laughs> If anyone was interested, we might be able to spare if you're lucky. <laughs> might as well uh, grab one there out of the stash and set you guys up. BRB! Welcome to Taylor's Tech Corner. She can't do it Hey! Hi everybody! The main reason I am here is because we got a lot of new tech. A lot of that was prompted by you guys giving us some great suggestions about our audio and filming and we decided all right we'll give the people what they want and this apparently is it <laughs> in all seriousness we really appreciate all of your thoughts and lovely wonderful comments my main goal was to kind of take everything out so i could organize it familiarize myself with it and charge it now we are taking advantage of electricity and short power as much as we can and we'll be charging the billion billion things behind me so excitingly i'm going to make a list of every piece of chargeable tech that we have of the quantity and then i'm also going to write down what exactly it needs to charge it i'm going to tease just a few pieces for you guys all for season two just to get you guys pumped and excited but i won't show you everything and i won't go into too much detail oh this is a personal favorite of mine for our gopro and our action cameras with this really awesome clear pole, you know, through the water, I won't even see it. It's gonna be like magic. Who's holding that camera? Not Taylor. I just told you my secret, but get ready for this one. It has four separate extendable layers on top of the already very sizable baton that it's connected to. I Baby was insane. Jeez, I can't even fit on the boat. Here's the start of it. There we have it, folks. An extraordinarily long selfie stick pole if you will. I'll leave that up to your imagination for now, how we're going to be using that. That's that piece of work. This is extraordinarily cool, okay? I'll let you infer as to what this is. <laughs> you can see something else there behind me, I don't think it needs any introduction. Hello? Taylor speaking. Holy stone drone. Hold on, I'm getting another call. <laughs> Hello, DJI Mini 2. That's right, not one, but two drones. Yeah, that's just a little sneak peek. Anyway, I've just, I've just written my list 
we'd like to have a look. My gear list with all with said gear listed and I'm about to go through all of the modes of charging and then I'm gonna stick them all on, get them all charging. I mean, it's T minus two days until we leave the marina. After I figure out exactly what everything needs to charge, I'm to go through these two monster bags full of cords. It's to be sorted through and then put in to charge everything. I'm gonna get into that and you're coming with me. That was not aesthetic at all. Okay. USB fast hub. I'm about to plug many little things into this. What I really like about it is that you can turn individual ports on and off. So I'm going to get that plugged in and charge all the mics and lighting equipment. Before... There we go! I feel like I'm living on a spaceship. <laughs> right now. I'm gonna throw those little batteries in. We also have this other contraption that we're going to use. We're gonna put these two plugs together to make the ultimate USB holder. I mean, we're trying to cram in as many USBs as we can at the moment. When we combine them, five USBs. Such a shame. any card. Either way you're gonna end up with a USB-C. <laughs> going crazy! So many USBs! The list is getting more and more checked off as the night progresses. I mean you know that you've been joining me through all the plugging in. <laughs> so my plan for the rest of the evening, I have just organized everything that isn't charging or that has been fully charged. So on one side of the table we have all the accessories and extra kind of bits and non-chargeable things like our drives, all of our GoPro and action camera add-ons, we also have all of our mic equipment and I'll leave a few things on that will require more power like the speaker and the drone batteries. So I'm going to leave that overnight, wake up in the morning and then go through and organize those very very huge USB bags that I showed you before. That's my plan for the rest of the evening. I'm gonna get to it and then I'll see you guys in the morning for the last cheeky bit of organization. Let's prevent any hazards from happening. I have a bouquet of USBs. <laughs> gonna pop them all in here. Breaking news, content creator is now being labeled as the leading cause of power outages because I'm stealing all your power. If your electricity bill went up, it was probably me or your content creating neighbor stealing your power. Check your plugs guys, you don't know who you can trust. back and it's time to get back into these cords because what I'm looking at right now I'm just gonna show you let me make this slightly more manageable almost <laughs> but not quite one more time Ooh, not quite getting closer though
perfect. <laughs> so happy. Everything's organized now into USB series, mini USBs, and then all of the kind of individual cords that we have for miscellaneous things. Now they're getting put back in to um, super massive tech bags, which have been a godsend and will be even more so when they're organized. So let's do it. I highly recommend these tech bags. You can get them kind of anywhere online. Very, very great for traveling as well, not just for storing, but they're quite perfect for boats. So now we know exactly what's in here. We're not just an array of cables anymore. About to put that away and then ugh, move on to this dreaded mess. <laughs> we have a drawer here, a storage drawer that pops out. It's uh, decently spaced. It's not too deep. It's got a fair amount of space in there and we can add dividers and separators if we need to. That's going to be things that we use on a semi-regular basis so things that I may just on our way out we'll quickly open that drawer and go okay we need the second drone or we need another tripod. <laughs> so that's my game plan yeah it's all to be decided I'm gonna get started. <laughs> wow the acoustics in here are great. Well, with a nothing special toolbox, the holy grail of tripods, and a half complete sail locker organized, that's all we have for you this week, folks. Tune in next episode as we approach the ending of our five part winter cleaning, organization, and fixing series. It'll be an episode of final fixes and finishing touches, readying Trinity to set off on our much awaited season two around the islands in 80 days. Are you ready? We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys. Oh.